Hello everyone, welcome to a Gmod tutorial. This tutorial will be how to make a elastic independent suspension. Alright, so go into your spawn menu, scroll down to 54, and then look for 54 times 132 times 3. Spawn that, then go to transportation, wheel A, gonna want to spawn 35s okay just put these up in the air like that get your precision tool move then uh, just copy these settings okay and then hold the E click to the middle click to the base plate Okay, do that for the other side as well. Okay. Go to your precision tool, move, push, pull amount, put that to 100, then press R. Uh, two times. Now, you're going to want to go to plates, go to 12. Um, 12 times 24 times 3. Spawn two of these. Go to precision. Move. Move these to the center of where your wheels are in the middle of the base plate. Okay, connection issues. First class seating by skid mark. Okay, now go to precision, move, switch this to 50, move these plates up 10 times. Okay, do that for the other one. Okay, now that you have that, get your weld tool, weld both these plates to the base plate. Now get out your rope. Make sure rigid is ticked. <clears throat> no force limit, no add length, width can be whatever you want. Put it to the middle of your wheel, to right here on the base plate, right where the wheel is right there. Then do that for the other side as well. And you're pretty much making a V shape and this will be the wishbones of your independent suspension. Do the same for the back. Okay. Oh, I placed that to the wheel. Be careful you don't do that. That'll mess up your day and you'll be a happy camper. Okay, now that you've done that, Want to place some elastics? Um, you want your elasticity to be twenty-five thousand, dampening fifteen hundred, and relative dampening one hundred and fifty. Make sure stretch only is not ticked. Again, with whatever you want. Okay, now you're gonna want to put around five elastics on each wheel. So one, two, three, four. Now the last wheel. Okay, now that you've done that, uh, get your no collide tool, no collide the wheels to the base plate. Now get your weight tool, uh, put it to 1200. Uh, weigh your base plate, 1200, keep the wheels the same, at 100. 
Now get make spherical. Make spherical the wheels. Okay, now. Ball socket advanced. Steering. Copy down these ball socket settings exactly. Okay, now that you've copied those down, put one here to your base plate. Middle of the wheel to your base plate. Now, get your expression two tool out. Get your steering e-tail. Steering E2 will be in the uh, description. Get wire. Um, oh, and also spawn just any plate. Mm -mm. Okay, I can't rotate it. That'll work. Spawn a pod controller. Go to vehicles, chairs, spawn a seat. Disable the collisions on it. Weld that to your <laughs> Get the pod controller. Right click on this. Right click on your seat. That'll link it to your seat. Now get your wire tool again. Okay, and wire this to the base. And then wire D to B on the pod and A to A on the pod. <clears throat> now go back to your ball socket, the steering, ball socket this to the steering plate, middle of the wheel to the steering plate, okay, now um, should just be spawn your car, with the advanced duplicator too, right click, left click, and then there you have a working chassis. Uh, we can just plop a thruster at the back just for convenience sake. And there you go. There is your uh, independent chassis. If you want to save it, just... Um, I click, then click save, then just name it whatever you want. To do the area dupe, you hold shift, then right click, and then right click again. That'll area dupe it. Then I have hoped you enjoyed and got some use out of this.